Buddy, this is Beetle Five, and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to Sub Zero versus Glacius Death Battle. Now we got here Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instinct. I never really played Killer Instinct, so I don't know much about their guys. But I mean, Sub Zero yeah. is a great dude from Mortal Kombat controls ice, but supposedly Glacius can manipulate ice maybe Ooh. better than Sub Zero. Like Sub Zero can create like weapons yeah. and ice oh, clones ice. that freeze his enemies but i think glacius himself manipulates and controls it so right now i'm really not sure because i don't know enough about yeah, glacius i don't to... know anything about glacius. yeah i feel like we gotta know about more about glacius before we can decide so let's get this shit started in three two one go The freezing chill of death is a horrifying <laughs> thought. Whether it comes from being alone in the mountains, submerged in the Antarctica, oh. or if you're really unlucky, getting iced by one of these cool warriors. Oh. Oh. Well, sorry, that was bad even for me. That was bad. Sub-Zero, the cryomancer ninja right. of Mortal Kombat. And Glacius, the icy alien with a killer instinct. He's oh, nice and Nice. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, Shit, and skills to find out who would win a death I should battle. try killer instinct. I've never really played him. Yeah. For untold generations, the Lin Kuei assassins waged war with their rival splinter group, the, the Shirai Ryu. Shira Ryu. Desperate it, to claim right. victory in the bloody conflict, the Lin Kuei resorted to drastic means of recruitment for able-bodied soldiers, no matter what age they were. So, kidnapping children? Kidnapping children. <laughs> well, at least they got to be ninjas! I bet their tiny little bodies would be even stealthier. <laughs> Turns out, two of these kids just so happen to be descendants from a race of extra-dimensional beings experienced in the art of ice magic. Their names were Shit. Bihan and Kwai Liang. With the Lin Kuei's training, these brothers became cold-blooded assassins and the finest warriors in the clan. And whether it started as a joke or he just thought it was badass, huh. Bihan adopted a brand new name, Sub Zero. Sounds like an online username from your teenage age. <laughs> you <laughs> read forever when you're older. That's Sub Zero great. was so fierce and driven, he became directly responsible for the complete annihilation of the rival Quan Shirai Shin. Ryu clan. Unfortunately for him, one of them, called Scorpion, survived. Well, kind of, and decided to kill him right back. Which obviously pissed off Kwai Lang, who decided to do the same to Scorpion, and got it. It's like high school drama, but with murder. Striving to honor his fallen brother, Kwai Liang assumed his brother's mantle as the champion of the Lin Fun Kwan. fact, Bihan, Sub -Zero the, the older brother, Sub-Zero, Sub -Zero. actually turned this into new, Sub -Zero new Cybot is a master in Mortal of Kombat. Kombat. You know, new, the guy Dragon who used Kung yeah. and enhances his martial kind of arts funny. with his deadly cryomantic abilities. Subby can freeze the moisture in the air to do tons of stuff. He can make his own personal slip and slide. Oh, well, Perfect for surprise attacks. Nine. He can form all sorts of weapons out of thin air, like daggers, swords, or even ice hammers. But best of all, the dude can make ice so cold, it instantly freezes anybody who touches it. This can be achieved through Sub-Zero's ice blast projectile, huh. or the ice clone technique both of which completely immobilize his opponent for devastating follow-up attacks. Oh, yeah. Did, did he just make a perfect sculpture of himself? <laughs> when doesn't he go into the ice sculpting business? Dude would make a killing. <laughs> Ooh, just, you know, not the literal kind. <laughs> He's got that down already. Sub-Zero can also implement his cryomancy and ninja talents in what appears to be near-instant teleportation. An unexpected ability which baffles even his fellow assassins. Yeah, but I bet that's still not as unexpected as turning into a friggin' polar bear. Oh, animality. Like, how though? We haven't done those in I a long time. I wanna do that. And best of all, after subduing his enemy, Sub Zero has no qualms about tearing them to bloody shreds with one of his fatalities. <laughs> Taking after his dear old bro's favorite form of murder, Sub Zero can rip a person's head off with their entire spinal column and toe. <laughs> This one's for you, Bihan. If he's feeling particularly nasty, Sub-Zero will toy with his opponent. He'll encase their lower half in ice and force them to watch helplessly as he tears them in half. <laughs> or for a quick death, he'll put them in a deep freeze that shatters like glass. Jesus. At most, it takes Sub-Zero approximately four seconds to Boom. freeze a person Love that in one. place. 
which in real world physics is completely impossible. <laughs> to induce full body frostbite in that time, he would have to lower the surrounding temperature to negative six and a half million degrees Fahrenheit. Million? That's a stupid Whoa. amount of cold. That is a stupid amount of cold. times colder than absolute zero, to be exact, what? making it a temperature which literally cannot exist. And yet still Jesus. not as cold oh. as my ex-wife's heart. Oh. Ah, anyway, Sub-Zero wow. has more than earned his reputation as one that of the most fearsome crazy. fighters in the Mortal Kombat universe. He's strong enough to break titanium statues with a single chomp, quick enough Damn. to dodge an oncoming Defeated rocket, Sector, and he Reptile, some Scorpion, of the and Batman. Across multiple oh yeah, because of DC like versus Mortal Kombat. Reptile, and Taven, the half-god, who single-handedly defeated dozens of Lin Kuei assassins. Oh, He's beaten his rival for life, Scorpion, several times, and even took on... Batman? Yeah. Through sheer willpower, he survived injuries no normal person could walk away from. Like getting torched in the face by a flamethrower. Or Sector. being double impaled through the torso. And then torched again. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Like, how does he have any left? I know, right? <laughs> but that pales in comparison to when he underwent the procedures which turned oh, him into Cyber a cyber Sub-Zero. And then was blown apart and reassembled into human form while still conscious. Damn, what, what a tough Fuck. son of a bitch! Whoa. But don't overestimate. I don't know him. that. Although Sub Zero keeps company with powerful spirits, undead wraiths, and immortal gods, he's not one of them. He may have incredible powers, but he's still just a mortal man. Also, his emotional baggage and desire to live up to his brother's name has clouded his judgment more than once. But that didn't stop him from becoming Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. He changed their goals, turning them to the side of good, and even formed an alliance with his old rival Scorpion over a nice brunch. Life couldn't get any better. And then they found dragons! What the fuck? Shirai Ryu Tog. Lin Kuei scum! Death is more honor than you deserve. All right. No one be got Ooh, system. Treasure Planet! I love that movie. Are governed by the 88 degrees. Should anyone dare violate these laws, the they will find themselves targeted by the Galactic Marshals. AKA Shit. Space Cops. One of these alien officers was sent to Earth to investigate an eerie distress signal, oh. but he was shot down by the world dominating corporation called Ultratech. You know, mm. evil Walmart. Ultratech evil had Walmart. reverse engineered equipment <laughs> from an alien crash some decades prior. The Roswell incident. However, oh. the use of advanced technology by less developed species is a clear violation of the 88 decrees. Kinda like if you saw a chimpanzee pick up a flamethrower, it'd be awesome! <laughs> but you'd want to take it away real quick. Determined <laughs> to correct these wrongs and return home, the alien marshal set his sights on bringing Ultratech to their knees and recovering his lost technology. And if he couldn't, he'd just blow it all up. It Shit. was Ultratech who codenamed him Glacius. Hey, he's an alien, this guy. Don't let his name fool you. Glacius wasn't always known for his fancy ice powers. Actually, he comes from a race of aliens with weird telekinetic abilities. Has multiple By manipulating hearts, simple molecular like structures, Glacius can use the environment nearby to create armor around his inner body. This oh. came in handy oh, when Oh shit, his so there's like different Antarctica, elemental versions of his species. Of That's kind of cool. So he had no choice but to make a new shell out of ice, which permanently turned him into an abominable snow monster. With this new body, Glacius developed a fighting oh. style to make the most of his new capabilities. Oh, man. Glacius prefers to fight at a distance using his long range ice bay. Oh my attack. god, that's he can crazy. turn his limbs into huge ice lances to keep enemies at bay, create spiky hail projectiles, and even summon spires of ice right under his opponent. And did he just punch that guy with an ice sculpture of himself? Yeah. Oh, he that freaking, he freaking sure you can see him. That's energy, which cool. summons a mysterious uppercutting ice sculpture. Perfect for opening up some sweet combos That's on his awesome. foes. Still, for all his keep away game, you'd think he'd be a total chump up close. But remember how he can move ice with his mind? Well, he can melt it too, oh. including himself. Oh. By turning his body into liquid, he can evade oncoming attacks, surprise opponents from below with the aptly named Puddle Punch, Shit. and even completely dissolve people into nothing. Oh and as God. an added precaution, he can summon extra ice to his body to serve as thicker armor. 
though his molecular telekinesis is too limited to maintain this armor for long periods of time. He may be made of ice, but glaciers can still hit hard enough to launch opponents several <laughs> stories into the air, including the 550 Fulgore. pound Fulgore unit's Ultra Tech. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I know Fulgore. He's cunning he like enough to not only guys? infiltrate Ultra Tech's highly guarded facilities, but also surprise attack its highly advanced robotic CEO, Arya. Before making his move, by Arya's own calculations, Glacius was able to drop the temperature of the entire room by 122 degrees Fahrenheit in 0 0.026 seconds. Oh, wow. That's a quarter oh. of a tenth of a second. A quarter like of a tenth of a second. He can lower a person's temperature by like thousands of degrees to freeze his opponents oh, completely man. solid. And then he makes them explode with his mind. Maybe Glacius' real name is Kelvin, because that's colder than absolute zero. Aww. I feel like that was some sort of nerd joke. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, you're not allowed to make a joke ever again. You're not allowed to make so a cold. joke ever again. Anyway, in Glacius' <laughs> mission to bring down Ultratech, he battled and defeated dozens of killer robots, a zombie pirate, a genetically engineered dinosaur fighter, and a werewolf. He and even werewolf. killed Cinder, the guy who's made of friggin' fire. You know, opposite ice? Glacius is ridiculously intimidating, but he does have a weakness. His natural body within the ice is fragile and defenseless. His entire fighting style is built around keeping foes away for this very reason. So, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a glacier? <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> that's Look gross. Like a giant popsicle with legs. Come on. Oh. You know what, Boomstick? Great. You're fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, the combatants are. I was pretty game with the glaciers until he just said all. that his inner but body first, is weak. All this talk of these cold so, people yeah. makes Basically, me think of refrigerator. What that means is that if Sub Zero could penetrate Glacius' ice armor, he could kill him. But the issue I'm gonna with go with Glacius. Okay, see, I, I think I gotta go to Glacius on this one too. But l l let's discuss this a bit because. He, he he got fought against a guy who had fire, right? So if fire yeah. couldn't melt his ice armor, I'm trying to think of how ice on ice, like Sub Zero, could do it. Yeah. Maybe if Glacius wasn't made of ice, he could Sub Zero could penetrate his armor with some other form of element or whatever the fuck. But I don't know. I I feel in the back of my head though that if Glacius' armor is broken, he's done. Oh yeah, no but I think that he that uh, because of glaciers can uh, men what do you call it? they can like telekinetically can use, move yeah, ice he can man manipulate uh manipulate ice so, yeah so yeah can... maybe plus um plus he does seem to attack better from a distance while sub zero yeah. literally only meant to be hand to hand, to hand except cannon. like a few ice projectiles literally that's about it yeah so sub zero is gonna want to get up and close to glacius' face while glacius is gonna want the exact opposite to hit him with all yeah. these pillars and shit but. I, I think I gotta go with Glacius. Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll definitely win this fight. But right oh, now, it's there, time there go. for a killer. death battle! Yeah, cold killer, right? Cold-blooded. <laughs> oh, Christ. This is gonna end really badly in terms of puns. Oh, yeah, there's also that thing where he can melt. That might yeah. be a neat feature. Race is new to me. You will know the chill of death. Uh, hey. Whoa, whoa. Oh, try to freaking toasty him. Oh. 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 <laughs> Shit, that was good. Oh, 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 here we go, he's hitting from this. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. It's actually not that bad close range. Shit. Yeah. I didn't think he was that good close range. Whoa! Good job. Split the tree in half. Oh. Shit. Oh, that's the hail. You are a warrior. But you lack conviction. Wow. I know 
was the theme and all, Holy but that was just ice that. cold. Glacius and Sub Zero seemed to be a near match in terms of cryomantic abilities, but it was Sub Zero who had the training and the power to bring Glacius down. Oh. Sub Zero has fought ninjas, robot ninjas, secret agents, movie stars, gods, and even fellow ice warriors. Glacius really didn't have anything Subby hadn't seen before. And while their speed was fairly similar, Sub Zero's impressive reflexes and ninja like skills gave him one of the most important edges in this fight. He could maneuver around Glacius' keep away strategy, and his teleportation kept him a step ahead, even able to avoid Glacius' liquid form. Uh... And while Glacius did possess a minor form of telepathy, there's no evidence to suggest that it was used for anything other than direct communication. Sub-Zero oh. could take a lot of hits, yeah, so was he wasn't going down easy. easy. But if you put their defenses side by side, Glacius' ice armor does seem better. But it really didn't matter because subs could just chop right through it. Sub-Zero could shatter titanium statues in a single blow, a feat which requires at minimum 63,000 pounds of force yeah. per square inch. And titanium is obviously tougher than ice. Assuming Glacius' shell you know is composed means? of blue Literally ice, the purest and toughest form the ice can take, it would still only take at lose. most 57,000 yeah. pounds of force per square inch to crack his entire body in oh, half. Oh no, wait a minute. And he didn't Sorry, even I need to go that I'm far. Just get little little to the squishy uh, insides in the middle. Uh, I guess you could say that Glacius had his expectations shattered. Uh, the winner is Sub-Zero. Oh no, yeah, Akuma, Akuma so that's my Hey, I'm Ben, I play Wiz, and I'm about to show you the matchup for the next death battle. And after that, please click that be? button over there to try a first membership and see the next episode before anybody else. Thanks for watching! Here we go. Android 18! Oh, versus Captain Marvel? Marvel? I think, yeah! <laughs> Android 18 versus Captain Marvel! Ooh, that's gonna be fun. That is pretty neat. I'm gonna be honest, though, I, uh... In this field, I actually I don't know much about Captain Marvel at all, so... She's, yeah, me too. I, I mean, I know she is a Marvel hero, obviously, but yeah. I don't know. Android 18 is pretty goddamn tough, too, but that, that'll be a cool fight. Like oh, that yeah, one. that's going to be good. All right. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment up with us to react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.